so let's go here first. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Hello everyone, MMC fan here, and today I've got a really exciting video. This is not something I've done before. This is going to be the first unboxing on the channel. This is a hugely exciting parcel because this has come from Luis Cantos in Spain and his custom Marvel movie collection. Uh, he's sent this my way to have a look at some of his newest releases, kind of get my reaction on camera. This box is huge, so, which is why we're now upstairs uh, and in a slightly different location, which I know isn't quite as glamorous, so I can go through and try and open it on camera. Um, I've never done an unboxing with a box this big on camera, so I might uh, stop and start this and chop it up and speed things up and things if I can't get in. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get going and uh, let's see what he's sent. Uh, so for those that are unaware, I'm going to try and talk while I do this, but uh, I might quickly shut up if it doesn't work. Um, so for those that are unaware, Luis Cantos uh, does custom figurines. They're the same scale. They are the uh, same style uh, in terms of the bases and bits and pieces to the Eagle Moss ones. Um, uh, but they are really, really good, and they the vast majority of them are characters that Eagle Moss are unable to do, either for licensing reasons or just, you know, financially they're unable to cover them in the collection. Uh, right, how am I getting in this? Uh, so anything from him is always really exciting. Now they do cost uh, a little bit more. Um, because obviously they're they're being commissioned, but that's kind of part of the course, and everyone that receives them kind of agrees that they are well worth the additional cost. So here we go. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, okay, here we go. So already this is incredible. Um, so he has done. This is its own box. Um, yeah, this is this is incredible. So he's even printed. This is this isn't a sticker or drawn on or anything. This is actually printed on the box, uh, and it's got a number. So surprise, surprise, Vulture is going to be in here, uh, and this is number one out of the thirty Vultures that he produced, and it's even been signed as well. So yeah, thanks so much, Luis. I can't believe I've got number one. That's really exciting. Uh, let's get in. I'm going to speed this up while I try and get the rest of the brown paper off. Okay, here we go. Here goes opening up. This is so exciting. Is this going to fit in, in camera? That's the question. Right, here we go. Okay, so let's, uh, let's have a think. So we've got a big figurine in the middle here underneath all of this packaging. And then we've got some smaller stuff in here and some smaller stuff in here. Uh, I can just see a little bit of a marble base here, so this looks like the main one in the middle here. So let's let's start with uh, who I assume is Vulture in the middle, um, because I don't in getting these other ones out, I don't want to uh, damage him in any way. So let's go here first. Oh my God, look at that! Look at that! Wow. Okay, <laughs> I can already see uh, the the detail in this bit alone is absolutely astonishing. I can see that there's some metal wire to kind of hold him in. Yep, he's now coming out. Oh my god, look at this thing. Oh, I'm so nervous that I'm going to break it, but it looks like it's here in one piece. Uh, right, let's just hold that. There we go, look at that. Uh, and so these green dots are glow in the dark, uh, and they really glow as well. They're not. It's not just a little bit of glow in the dark paint. Like in a pitch black room, you will be able to see those clear as day. Um, so yeah, I mean, this detail looks fantastic. Here is one wing. Oh my God, look at that. That is astonishing. And it's really sturdy as well. Like obviously you wouldn't want to drop it, uh, but that isn't going anywhere. And it's even got the holes in these turbines. Incredible. I will have a closer look at these uh, once they're all out, but here's an update. I've got one of the bags off uh, and it's looking incredible. Okay, I've done it. Here we go. Wow. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is absolutely huge. This is the first time I'm seeing it in the flesh. Oh my God. It's just, it's just incredible. Oh, the, the spikes of the, of the fur on the, on the hood, the, the, the weapons in his hands. Oh, I mean, look at this, the weathering effect on this thing. 
You know, he could have literally just painted that grey and be done with it. But no, it's all weathered, this little green element. This is the most detail I've ever seen Vulture's uh, wings in. Like, and that includes the film. Like, you know, that's not just in products. I'm going to see if I can just turn him around on camera. Look at this. This is incredible. What I'll do, I'll put all of the figures together at the end so that you can see them. But... Uh, this is oh look at this. He's got this tube going around the back of his head. Look amazing. It's got this like purple bit. It's, that's kind of like painted as a fade there. This is amazing. Right, I'm going to put this to one side before I drop it on camera and destroy it. Um, yeah, that is absolutely astonishing. Look at that. Arrived safe and sound. Really well packaged from Spain. Okay, right, that was Vulture. I've calmed down a bit now, uh, so let's have a look at uh, what else we've got in here. So I think this is all paper. Yep, lovely, that's all packaging for the wings. Obviously, we've got a lovely calling card, the custom Marvel movie collection. Uh, with a lot, lot of, lo look at this, this is really nicely designed, actually. I really like this a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, key characters in there. Um, I know some people might be like, oh, are they, are they the ones he's doing next? But um, I, I kind of have an inkling of what he's doing next, and it's not necessarily everyone on here, but this looks really cool. Uh, Thank you, Nate. My name's Nate. Uh, if you didn't know that, there you are. So you are welcome, buddy. You are welcome. So let's have a look uh, at what else we have in this box. Let's see, so I think I've got a couple in here. Oh, God, yeah, there is more than one. Oh, look at this. Okay. Here we go. So this looks to me like Iron Man in the Mark V suit from Iron Man 2. I can already tell the painting on this thing is amazing. Let me just get it out of the bubble wrap. Oh, I hope it's here safely. Everything is very tightly packaged, so I sincerely hope it is. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Here, yeah, safe and sound. That's always my main worry. These things go through the post. Eagle Moss, uh, if it damages, you just ask for another one and they just lob another one in a box. With Luis, like, there are so few of these. Um, but that's incredible. Look at this. Look at the painting on that. Let me just make sure the camera is focusing on that. That is incredible. That is great. Oh, with all this detailing coming down here. We've got the hands. All the fingers are intact. Look at this. Oh, the detail on the back. I don't even know what the back of this suit looks like. You know, it looks like this. This is how we find out. We 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 get these incredible products. Um, that is amazing. I love that. Love the helmet. Look at that, and the color, and and also the de So the 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 shading. Um, so essentially, with this suit, with the way the plates attach, you you'd need like little gaps that just aren't possible in resin. Um, but it's been painted. The shading of how he's painted it. Uh, makes it look like all of those gaps, all of those interlocking plates, because obviously this came out of a suitcase. Um, that really looks like it's there. That's incredible. Love that. Love that figure. Great. As I say, I'll have full reviews of all of these on the channel very soon, but for now I'm going to pop this down with Vulture so I don't knock it over. Uh, right, let's have a look. So there's another one in here. Let's have a look at this. Oh, wow, who have we got? Oh, I reckon I might just be able to... I know you know what, I'm going to undo it properly. <laughs> I was really keen to lift it up from the top there, but that's probably a dangerous thing to do. Okay, oh, so this is uh, Spider-Man in his Night Monkey suit. Now, fortunately, the base has come away, um, but it's come away cleanly, so I'll be able to just stick him back on. Um, so, yeah, sorry, Luis, that it's arrived like that. This is number three. Uh, the base has come apart, but that's okay, because I can just glue that back on. The figure itself is absolutely fine. So let's have a look at this. Oh wow, oh wow, look at that. Look at the detail on that. On the mask, this pose is great, where he's adjusting his goggles. Look at that, the detail on the fingers there. Fingerless gloves, of course. Uh, the upcoming Thor from Eagle Moss, they forgot to paint his fingerless gloves. Um, that's incredible. And you can't see on camera, I'll try and get it for the final review, but there's tiny little lines on the mask. There. Oh, that's incredible. And then we've got the painting all around the legs. Look at that. That's astonishing. I love that. So it would be very easy just to paint this guy black and be done with it. But there's actually so much detail and shading that's gone into this. I love Spidey. He's one of my favorite characters. So I'm really keen to own this. It's a shame that the base has come away. But as I say, that's really clean. That can just go straight back on. 
yeah, that's amazing. Look at that. And obviously, this is a good time. This is a good time to show you the bases. So they each come with their own logo. Um, so this is a Spider-Man one. It comes on a Spider-Man base. Uh, and then it has this sticker underneath to let you know which unique number you have uh, and have ordered. That's all part of the service. But look at that. Incredible. Okay. Uh, and I can't believe that there is still more in this box. So there was, so we've still got whatever is lurking in here to come, uh, which is hugely exciting. So I'll just pop Spidey with his friends and I'll get on that. Oh no, there's more than, well, there's more than one. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, look at this. Okay. So this one, this one. Oh, I want to be so careful. Oh my God. Yep, he's fine. Oh, look at this. There you go. Ready to offer you some Turkish delight. Ready to absolutely kill it on the dance floor. The first figurine in my collection from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And this is Zemo. Now, it's a real shame. There's nothing to do with Luis, uh, but it's a real shame that in the show, he doesn't wear this mask very often. Um, but it's definitely a really cool look. So I'm glad that Luis has included it. Uh, iconic jacket. Uh, we all were very surprised in the show to find out just how wealthy Zemo is. So, he, of course, he's absolutely uh, dressed to the nines. Um, this is incredible. We've got a little bit of skin there where the glove doesn't quite meet the thing. That's a nice touch. Got the detail on the gloves. And the, the hood is done exactly in the same way as Vulture's is. I don't know what it is with Marvel villains and fur hoods, but there you go. That's a thing. Um, that's great. Nice pose. Yeah, big fan of that. And this is very accurate to the show as well. Um, I think I think that the the danger is with with the new ones is that you see a bit of concept art or maybe a set photo and you kind of have to produce the figurine from it. Um, but I know Luis produced this figurine and the, the the sculpt has not changed. But but upon seeing the show, there are a few little colours that changed and things to make it more accurate, which is a great level of detail. And because he's making customs, that's a change he can make. Um, you know, Eagle Moss would have, would have spent months making this figure, and if it turns out to be inaccurate. They all would be, you know, they'd send out hundreds, thousands of them with inaccurate painting, and they do do that. So there we go. And this is Zemo number four. That's incredible. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm I'm in awe. This is this is probably the most exciting video I've filmed um, <laughs> in a very long time. Look at this. All of the fingers there, and they're all separate. They're not stuck together like a lot of the Eagle Moss ones are. They're all hanging down. Amazing. Love that. And also a unique base as well. Um, so Falcon of the Winter Soldier... It has a logo. Um, I actually spoke to Luis about this. Um, the merch for the show does have a logo. Um, so it's kind of the Star of the Winter Soldier and then the V of the Falcon, kind of like half and half. Um, they didn't use it much on the show itself, but a lot of the other merch has it. So um, that is what's been included on this base. And I'm sure if Luis is uh, working on some other ones from this one, which I think he might be, um, that they will have that logo too. So that's great. Look at that. Incredible. And of course, Zemo was in Civil War, but Eagle Moss have not made him. God knows why. So Zemo is now in our collections. Incredible. Thank you, Luis. Uh, and this brings me to the last one. Uh, and oh, OK, I've, I've remembered what this is. So if you follow me on social media, uh, you'll know that uh, on April the 1st, 1st of April here in the UK, uh, I always do a joke. I always do a, wouldn't it be hilarious, you know, this this has been leaked on Forbidden Planet or this has been leaked from Eagle Moss and I, I do a magazine cover and a figurine that no one would want um, and say, oh, look, this is coming off in the collection. And a lot of people think it's real and I'm really sorry, guys, it's never real. I, 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 I guess that's just very flattering to my editing. Um, but this, this year's, um, there were actually people that said, unironically, I would like to have that. Um, so I think now... I'm sorry, Luis, if I've got this wrong, but I think this, I don't think you buy this one. I think if you just place a large order, a few people are going to get them thrown in as an extra goodie. Um, so this is uh, the rat that saves the universe. In, oh, is, there you go, is another one, is just like Spidey, the poor little thing. To be fair, he is so small. There we go. This is the rat that saves the universe in Avengers Endgame. And uh, I'll just have a look at the bottom. He gets his own number. Look, he's number three. That is incredible. Um, yeah, it's a joke, but it's a good one. And it's a very made one, well made one. This rat is in perfect scale with the other figures. Um, yeah, look at that. Didn't have to, went the extra mile, did it anyway. Made the base, made the rat. Uh, and I've seen a photo, there's a small army of these. So if you've placed a large order with Luis, uh, don't throw the box away until you're absolutely sure there's nothing else in it because there's rat. Yeah. I, I am over the moon. So I've got 
Uh, that just to clarify, the incredible Vulture figure, uh, incredible Iron Man, Zemo is awesome, uh, Night Monkey Sp Spider-Man, uh, which I'm going to call Stealth Spidey. There's been some odd things on social media with using the phrase Night Monkey for some reason, I'm not sure why. Uh, and then the rat as well. So uh, they're all the figurines themselves are all absolutely flawless and have arrived in one piece, but there's a couple I've got to glue onto the bases, which is okay. I, I, I personally don't mind that. And I am so grateful that Luis uh, keeps me in the loop with his work, sends me his work, um, sends pictures to me so I can share them with you guys. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. You can expect full in-depth reviews of these on the channel in the coming weeks. Keep on collecting.